Hello, XML catalogs are used for import of products from the catalogs of your suppliers to the catalogs of store owners. Let's see how to save your time by automatic XML import. I will be using an XML file and XML and CSV input add-on by Simtech Development. Let's go to the admin panel of the demo store, add-ons, XML import. Copy the address of the catalog of the supplier. Create a new import. Choose the URL of the supplier's catalog. Paste it here. You can also use CSV format if you want to. Let's give it a name. If you are using a multi-vendor store, you can also choose the vendor or allow your vendors to import products by themselves. Let's choose the delimiter. In my case, it is already chosen. It's three slashes. The delimiter is a special sign which separates the category from subcategory. And let's add our margin. I will add 3% to each product and it will be my interest. Let's create the import. Now we have to do the fields mapping. It means that there are fields those are required in CS card. For example, it is impossible to do the input without the name of the product and the category. If you are doing the input for the first time, there are also lots of important information, for example, price. So let's add it here. The fields of the catalog of your vendor can differ from the fields in your CS card. It is quite normal. What you can do is to configure some features or options in your CS card and they will appear here in the options section. For example, color. There is also color option in my catalog. Let's add it here. And for example, add price. That's all, let's save. Now we have to do the category mapping. The categories of the catalog may be absent in your store or they may differ. So we have a choice. We can create a new category, for example, on the root level, or link the category with an existing one. I will create new categories and they will appear here on the button of the page and you will see that a category has been created. If you want to, you will always be able to change it until you start the input, of course. So I will add them. To show you the difference, I will also add three categories. I will link them to the existing categories. So I will choose office and for example, drawing supplies. Of course, it doesn't make sense to add desks with whole punches, for example, but I'm just linking to show you how it works. So let's do the import. And the input has been done successfully, new objects have been created and some objects have been updated. You can also use this add-on for scheduled update of your catalog. There is a cron script link in every XML import. You can use it and, for example, update the prices every day and the pictures once a week. Thank you for watching and please feel free if you have got any questions. I will be glad to help you. Bye!